The title of the book is Mage Merlin's Unsolved Math Mysteries. The theme of this book is all about Camelot and Merlin and, uh, you know, all the famous characters are there, uh, Excalibur, um, the Knights of the Round Table, the Holy Grail. And we've kind of woven these 16 unsolved math problems that happen all throughout math, from numbers to, to pictures to functions. All of them kind of play a main role as we use the story of Camelot to talk about it. In my mind, Merlin is sort of like MacGyver. He's called in to do things that nobody can do. So, you know, Arthur and the Knights call him to do things that, uh, that they couldn't figure out. And he keeps a journal of problems that even he couldn't solve. And the, this is a collection of those stories of problems that even Merlin couldn't figure out. These unsolved problems, things that what nobody has done before, is to me the joy of math and the joy of learning. And it's absolutely fun to learn about things uh, that have already existed. But these new things are where, are where the frontier is at. You know, the biggest worry I have about math today is that it is the gatekeeper for so many things in STEM. If you want to do science and technology and engineering, which seems to be the language of the future in terms of data and analytics, that math is the, is the game you have to play. You need to know a good amount of math to get into that, uh, into that world of STEM. You know, when we think of math, we think of it kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum from the humanities and the arts. Like the humanities and the arts deal with beautiful stories and beautiful images, but math is about these cold facts and formulas. And we want to bring those worlds together. You know, things that excite me when I was a kid are all these stories. That's what I remember the most. And we wanted to infuse the cool ideas in math as stories. So people start falling in love with these, these bigger ideas. And we just use Merlin as a great way to pull these 16 problems together. You just need to know elementary school things. Just the simplest of ideas of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, and drawing some simple pictures, and all of a sudden you have access to some things that very few people in the world have access to. So we want to bring everybody into the game.